But we begin tonight with a battle over surveillance video of the Oxford High School shooting. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Four students died that day in November. Now a judge has ruled their family should be able to see surveillance video from that day before it comes out in court during different trials. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner has been on this story from the very beginning for us. He joins us now with the battle that played out in court today. The arguments here explosive and the judge making it clear from the bench. The families making this request are like no others. I have two deaths. I have a kid standing next to the guy that got shot right in the back of the head so he could watch with the murderer saying it right to him, lay down on the ground and go right next to him. The Oxford school shooting led to four students killed, seven others injured, including a teacher. It was back on November the 30th. Little physical evidence has been made public. Compare that to the Uvalde, Texas school shooting last month. Surveillance images of the police response inside coming out this week. The attorney for the families arguing surveillance videos inside the school could show a lot. What if uh, they show the backpack being given back to Ethan? That might be a little relevant to what I'm trying to prove against the school. Attorneys for Oxford schools have been vigorously fighting almost a half dozen civil lawsuits over the shooting. Today, they argued criminal investigators took their surveillance servers, but then said they told the judge under questioning they do have some video they could hand over. But you've got a copy. I have some of portions some of the video. The judge ruling in favor of the families, saying they shouldn't have to get startling new details in upcoming trials. I would be outraged if the first I heard of a lot of the things that happened that day were brought out in the criminal trial. They should be able to know what's coming. These are different kinds of plaintiffs. The next step in the civil lawsuit is next month. Oxford school officials arguing to be released from responsibility. And we all need to start talking about this thing called governmental immunity. It's evil, it's wrong, and it's where government employees try to get out of lawsuits and say, you can't sue me. So the videos and all the material will be handed over to the attorneys and the families, but they cannot make them public for now. And a lot still happening in this case tomorrow. A hearing for accused shooter Ethan Crumbly. His trial is set for September. Then on Monday here, a big day for the parents asking to have their charges of involuntary manslaughter tossed out or to have their trial moved out of here because of all the news publicity possibly influencing the jury. Their trial is set for October. In Oakland County, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News. Certainly a long way to go. Thank you so much, Jim, as always.